Greetings citizens of the world. Seeing the devastation and death toll rising with the water in Texas, an army of unsung heroes who know this kind of tragedy all too well, descended on Houston to help. The self-titled Cajun Navy convoyed from Louisiana to Texas and started saving lives as soon as they arrived. However, not everyone appreciated the help and went to war with these heroes to stop them from their rescue efforts, turning the flood zone into a war zone for one disgusting reason. Although Texas Governor Greg Abbott called in the help of 3,000 for rescue efforts of stranded people, the devastation was too large to ensure all were safe. Five have already died before this new kind of Navy came in and changed the plight for one elderly woman so far, who may not have made it out alive if it weren't for the skilled Cajuns. If there's anyone who understands the devastation and terrifying nature of a flood, it's this group of Louisianans who recently lived through the horror themselves. During the torrential rainfall in their state last year, they took charge and did what Barack Obama refused to do as commander-in-chief at the time. Today, they are facing a new adversary from Obama's era who tried to derail them from rescuing more stranded Texans because the Cajun Navy had something these pirate thugs wanted. Looting started as soon as the flood did when thugs realized there were televisions and other electronics left unattended in abandoned shops. This criminal behavior has only gotten worse as these ruthless degenerates are now trying to stake claim on the flood zone and take control of everything and everyone that crosses their path. This includes several boats carrying victims, manned by the Cajun Navy who just went to war with these Houston hoodlums after an apparent act of piracy. A potential act of attempted piracy was reported by the Louisiana Cajun Navy a group of volunteers attempting to rescue victims of Hurricane Harvey in its aftermath. The group, which has over 140,000 subscribers on Facebook, says that looters attempted to forcibly take boats at gunpoint. Clyde and the other team members and teams are all safe. Looters decided to pose as people needing rescue and they attempted to overtake the boats and there were shots fired at the boats. I repeat they are all safe. Looters must not have wanted our boats in the water for rescues. Please feel free to share this post. We are currently on stand down pending a new strategic plan. Although the post cannot be independently verified amid all the chaos in the area, the post was shared tens of thousands of times before being inexplicably taken down. Texas Storm Chasers captured the original post. The Cajun Navy has stood down after looters attempted to command their boats and fired weapons at said boats. No injuries. Texas Storm Chasers The Cajun Navy corroborated the claim that they were shot at. It's true, the page manager replied to a commenter on the post. People are desperate. Happens during most disasters, unfortunately. Worse than being shot at and having to defend themselves against these thugs, the Cajun Navy was forced to halt some of their rescue efforts, potentially leaving countless people in harm's way, according to the group's spokesman Clyde Kane. Kane also told CNN that looters tried to steal an inoperable boat that was broken down while crew sought shelter in a delivery truck, Edge Review explains. They're making it difficult for us to rescue them, Kane said. You have people rushing the boat. Everyone wants to get in at the same time. They're panicking. Water is rising. Houston Police Chief Art Acevedo did confirm that there have been looters attempting to capitalize on Hurricane Harvey's devastation, which has tied up police resources. We've already arrested a handful of looters. We've made it real clear to our community we're going to do whatever it takes to protect their homes and their businesses. And when people come from the outside to Houston, Texas, no we're going to be out in the city, we're not going to rest as a police department or law enforcement community until people restore their lives. It's not ironic that the post mysteriously went away and that the mainstream media is not reporting this. The thugs literally turned into pirates in this attempted takeover and lost. This is taking the looting and unrest to a new level of what's legitimately a turf war between heroes trying to rescue people and heathens trying to maintain control of an area to have their way. Victims, stranded in their attics hoping for someone to save them, are essentially being held hostage by these thugs who are intentionally getting in the way of rescue efforts. If a war is what they want, they are going to get it.